Hello everyone, my name is Dejas Patel and you are watching Dejas Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 48 of Responsive e-learning website development in PHP with PDO. So guys, in last tutorial, we successfully designed this uh, course detail page. So in this tutorial, we are going to working on the category page. But before we going, we are going to the category page. We need to fix some problems just like uh, just look at here. This is the buttons. When I click on this one, so it will be the link and it is working very fine. Just look at uh, from the left corner. Just look at this now. When I click on this one, so you can see the link localhost uh, slash YouTube slash e-learning slash course detail dot php. Just look at this now. But in the Firefox, uh, we can't get the link just because the button tag inside a tag is not working with the mozilla firefox just look at here when i click on this one so here is no links are available here just look at you can see that you can see that no links are available here but in the opera and in the chrome it will be working very fine so we need to fix this one so how can we fix it uh, that one so I am going to open course detail.php. So without wasting of time, let's get start. So this is my index page. So let's open the course detail. Here it is. And we need to go to the function.php file. Just here. Here we are going to find the course detail page. Yeah, here it is. So you can see that we have a buttons here. Just look at this now. Inside but, uh, button we have a A tag. But in the Firefox, the button uh, inside button tag, the A tag will be not work very well. You can see that. Just look at here. Nothing is going to happen here. Just because this is not supported. Okay. So we need to fix that one. So how can we fix that one? So simply just remove the button tag with the replace new tag. Just uh, just like. I am going to write here a div tag to div tag here is also div tag available here so let's remove it the div tag and here also close it with the div tag just remove this all the buttons with the div tag okay control has to save now let's check the output what we have here so you can see that the output is just like this just because the design is applied on the button tag so we need to fix the design first of all so i'm going to style.php or oh, sorry style.css and here yeah just look at here you can see the buttons here so we need to replace that button with the div so div tag here and also from here okay let's see now You can see from here oh yeah, yeah yeah just because I changed the course right section but we need to change it with uh, course share option yeah, here it is here it is just look at here div tag this is also a div tag and this one is also a div tag okay so let's refresh and check so you can see that the button tag, uh, the new tag is coming perfectly here, but not in the good line. So we need to fix that one also. So what we are going to do here, just we simply need to here float. Okay, not none. We need to write a float. Float left property here. Let's save it. Okay, so you can see that. The button is now working very well and perfectly. You can see the link in the Mozilla Firefox. Just look at here. When I hover on this one, so you can see the link is available. HTTP semi colon slash slash localhost YouTube e-learning and then course uh, details dot php. Okay. And inside here, but here we need to clear the history just because there's a lots of history available. Clear data. Okay just close it this one is also close it let's refresh that one so you can see that the output is coming now but we need to 
center from the top and from the bottom this text so how can you do that so simply we are going to here and here we set the line height property just like line height and what's the height of that uh, div okay so let's uh, find out okay so 35 pixel of height just look at here 35 pixel so we need to decrease uh, we need to set the line height with that 35 pixel okay now let's check the refresh button okay so you can see that the button is now perfectly coming from here you can see that and also you can see it from here so now our link tag uh, our setting tag buttons are working very well now you can see that you can see that okay so let's find out the other buttons uh, just look at here yeah this one is the buttons and uh, let's see this is also a uh, links very good uh, then i uh, no, no, no we are checking from here yeah this is also perfectly working these links are also perfectly working and then the enroll button is not working just look at this now the enroll button is not working so we need to go on the enroll button so where is the enroll button we are going to again function.php and now get right section just look at here we have a button here you can see that we have a button here so we need to convert that button into the div tag and also the div tag is closed from here okay so now let's check the output you can see that the output is just look at uh, look like this okay so now we need to again design that one into the r style.css so where is the button yeah here it is so just we need to copy this one by control c and paste it that uh, from here here we need the button just because we are going to the form tag and with the form tag the button is working very well so we doesn't need to change that button but this button we are going to need to change just because we need to redirect the user on the checkout page and if we need to redirect the user on the checkout page so we need a must be a link here okay so for that reason here is the a tag available with the div tag just because this one this one is not working with that so first of all i'm going to css here i'm going to change it with the div and also that one with the div and also this one with the div now let's check the output when i'm going to refresh that one so you can see that now we need to uh, again set the line height property from here so we need to find out the actual height of that so 35 pixel is the height so we need to set the line height also from here line height 35 pixel okay so now let's refresh so you can see that now the next task is we need to float that uh, button from the right side uh sorry from the left side now let's refresh it again so you can see that the button is completely perfectly coming but we need to set the, some changes from here float left and also we need to set it this one with the float left property okay just refresh it so you can see that the button is now coming very well and perfectly if we need some uh, space between these two buttons so we can also set that with the uh, let's see the actual high uh, width 48 so we need to set it with the margin from the left margin from the left and that one will be one percent okay let's refresh and check so you can see that the space is now coming perfectly available here also just look at check out this one so you can see that and also now just uh, just look at here from the bottom left side you can see that the link is appeared here in the chrome okay let's check out with the mozilla firefox so you can see that the link is available also from here just look at here you can see that so also we need to uh, do one thing here we need to display block this a tag so we can get the link all over on the area okay so let's refresh and check 
so you can see that now the link is available from the all over of this area so this is how can you set the buttons for the mozilla firefox and also for the for the all, uh, all browsers so also i need to change this uh, font size so i can change that one from the course from the course left section where is my course left section man yeah here it is so you can see that the a tag font size is not not declared from here so we need to declare the font size so we can set the font size 12 pixel okay let's refresh and check okay so you can see that the font, font size is decreased and now it look like very good and very fine so i think guys you can understand how to check the browser compatibility for the all browsers buttons so remind one thing remember one thing the button tag inside a tag it will be not work in the mozilla firefox it will be working on the google chrome and opera mini very fine but in the firefox it will be not work so the best practice is you cannot uh, place the a tag inside the button tag so you can set it like this create a one div and that a tag inside that view so i think guys uh, you can understand how can we apply this one so we'll meet you in next tutorial so guys if you have any question in your mind then comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel just because when i upload the new videos then you can get a direct notification into your inbox so we'll meet you in next tutorial thanks a lot for watching guys goodbye